What's up, my fellow gamers? It is me, Tonic. Thank you so much for being here today. Today, I am going to be playing for you Hourglass. And this video will serve as an introduction to the game for you. I'll also, will take you through the very beginning parts of the game to show you how the puzzles work and until we get to the main chambers. That's our goal today. So, introductory, main chambers, the video done. Hope you're doing well today. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to do all the fun things that you need to do here on YouTube, like subscribe to the channel if you're new, click the like button if you're enjoying this video, and of course comment if you have anything you'd like to say to me or anything about this game if you've played it already. But for me, I've played through this game already and I love it. So I decided to make a little, basically a tutorial video, show you how to get through all the areas of the game. And also just something for me to have fun to play it again because it is an amazing game. And as you can see, the cell, the cell shading graphics are beautiful. The music, beautiful. And this game is available right now. You can buy this game right now on Xbox Series X, which I'm playing on right now. You can buy it for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, or you can get it on Steam. So you can play this on PC or any of the consoles, which is amazing. So it's available to you out there. Look for it. I know it was on sale during the Steam Summer Sale for like 10 bucks, I believe. Uh, it retails for 20, I believe, right now on the consoles. But of course, always check and see if there's any sales going on. So here we are at the beginning of the game. We get to see an awesome, cool statue. And then another awesome, cool statue. But other than that, there's not a lot going on. Some trees, some water. And just us in the desert slash canyon. So here we go. This game does a good job of making you feel very lonely. But it also gives you some really nice uh, natural things to experience. I can see there's a bird. Hey bird. It flies away. It's a beautiful red bird. But that, as you can see, a bird overhead is screaming at me. But, again, we're here to search for an archaeologist. His last name is McConnor. McConnor, his name is Arthur McConnor. And he is lost. We cannot find him. But as you can see, this has portal-esque puzzles. There's floor buttons here that you have to use to open doors. So, of course, you're like, wait, where's something to hold this down where I can go in? Here it is. You can use LB or X to pick up the cube on the Xbox Series X. Of course, follow the Follow the directions on your screen if you buy it for another console or PC. So all we gotta do now is set the block down and we're in. First puzzle solved. Boom. We're winning. We are champions of this game. Oh look. A mysterious figure walks ahead. That is something you'll see soon. That's uh, explained a little bit here into the game. You'll see as we have to solve puzzles and stuff. That is part of it right there. That little image that you just saw. Anyway, as you can see, we have another puzzle up ahead. We have a block sitting on a button with another floor button inside. Of course, we can't get through there because we need another block. So with any puzzle game, you probably should just look close by, and here we are. There's our block. So this introduces another element of the game, which is move the block, use it as a platform to jump and get to some uh, somewhere a little bit higher. Because your character can't jump. The character in this game, the hero, he's not very good at jumping at all. Or she. Probably a she. Now that I think about it. She's not very good at jumping. <laughs> so we need the extra block. Now we can go in and place it. Boom. We're in. Second puzzle out of the way. That easy. And now we're on the other side, opposite of where we were there. In case you're wondering too, you cannot go through the water because, as you might have guessed, it will kill you. Deep water will kill us because we can't swim. We're also not capable of standing in waste deep water. We'll die. So that's another game element to know about is that you are going to drown in shallow water. <laughs> They won't let you swim in the pool at summer camp. This is basically, this person is going to try to find a lost archaeologist. Yeah. Anyway. 
So this is a symbol here you'll see in hieroglyphics. Uh, we'll get introduced into what that actually is in just a little bit. So it is an important thing. As you can tell, again, we are going through a beautiful temple. Um, and it has just a great... Um, the environment's great. It just makes you feel lonely. But also, it's kind of an enjoyable experience. Nice blue skies, so it's not storming or anything. And we have hit another puzzle, and we're introduced to yet another element of the game. Of course, we can't get through there. Because no block anywhere, though. There's no block at all. Another cool statue. So this is where the recordings come into play. And what we do is we enter the recording portal here. And what it's going to do is record our actions. And this is sort of like Prince of Persia where we have to use time manipulation to get through puzzles. So what you do here is you go through the portal and now we're recording ourselves do something. And in this case we're just going to be a block and stand on this floor button. And that's it. That's all our recording needs to do. As you can see Boom. We're in. That's it. We're on to the next area. That is it. the biggest puzzle element of this game is the recordings. That is very, very important. Alright, so we now have another recording portal. We have a button and we have a platform. So on this platform, you hit the button once here and the button stays pushed. So it means the platform goes across and stays across. So that tells you another puzzle. It's how do we get across there? How do we get across there? That's simple. So we, again, we got to use the recordings. Now, don't get hasty here and just run through, and push the button, and be done. You can hit RB to stop the recording. Because if you do that, you don't give yourself enough time to run over to the platform, as you can see. And we didn't make it, so we missed our bus. So this is another element to the puzzle: is timing. So now you got to make sure you add in the timing you need for your physical character to run to the platform. So all we do, go through their portal and just hang out for a minute. And you can see right in the middle of the screen it tells you how much longer you can record. Now we're going to hit the button. And that's it. We're done. And all we got to do is our physical self is run over here, stand on the platform, and hit it. Boom. Our recording pushes, us, pushes the button, sends us on through. And we're moving on. So again, this is just introducing us to all the elements that this game is going to add and add and add. It's just like a really good puzzle game because it adds different things as you go. And having played through this already, they do a great job of mixing it up and making it much more difficult than what you're seeing here. All right, so what we have here now is a block, a floor button, which controls this platform right above. So, of course, we need to be on that platform because you can see up here there's an opening. This is where we need to go so we can advance inside this temple as there is no doors going anywhere else. We have a recording portal right over there. So, first thing you want to do in here is take your block. And we're going to move it over here to the floor button. Boom. And we're going to make our way across. So, this is going to serve... This platform served as a bridge for us to get over here to the recording portal. And now the recording will take over. We're going to send our recording over here. Again, don't forget to give yourself enough time to get on the platform to be ready. But we're probably in good shape here. So we're going to go ahead and pick it up. And all we got to do here is set it down. That's it. I'm going to go over here and take my position. And what I did there is I just ended the recording because watch. The recording going to pick it up and drop it right over there. And we're done. We're moving on. Okay, so in this next area, we're going to see that we have a big block over there that would allow us to jump onto the next area. But of course, our hero, she can't jump very high. She's not a very high jumper. So again, we, our recording is going to have to save us here. So we're going to push this cube over. And then we are going to go into the recording. And again, remember, give yourself some time to get over onto the block in a physical form. So when you do that, come over here, wait a second, then start pulling. Because here you don't want to wait too long because we do have a good bit of distance to pull the cube. But we do have enough time there. So now as our physical self, we're going to jump on the cube and just get a free ride on over to the next area. Bam. Done. 
And trust me, I'll say this again. This game does a great job of adding these elements together to make it a lot tougher. And they keep adding things as we go. As an example, here's a place where we have a moving platform. And this button here will permanently stay pushed so the platform will go across but won't come back on its own. Which, again, we can't push the button, jump on, get over there and get the cube and come back because we have nobody to push the button for us except for our recording. So this one, all we're going to do is we're going to push the button and then we're going to run through the portal as a recording, jump onto the moving platform right over and take the block and set it on the platform. And that's it. Pretty simple. So here we go. We're going to ride on over as a recording. Because the recording is not going to have enough time, of course, to get back across because we can't push the button for it. I mean, it's stuck now. The recording did its job. So all we do now is just go on over here to the stairs and run back over to the button. By the time we get to over there, the block should be ready for us to bring back over. And as you can see, it is done. <laughs> Voila, ladies and gentlemen. And now we have our block. And this block's gonna serve as a button holder for us here on this floor button. And we're done. All right, now we have one more puzzle to do inside of this introduction area. And it's not too bad, but it's another, um, another one about timing and figuring out where you need to go. As you can see, if you saw it up there, the image of the archaeologist the recording of him is walking through and we're chasing him down so as you can see here this right here for a button takes that platform across the way which is where we want to go so we need it to permanently be held down which we already know means that we have to get the recording involved we have a we have a block we have a platform that moves by this button here Okay, pretty simple. And then we have a recording portal right here, but of course we can't jump high. And we're also not capable of climbing, so we have to get a block to help us jump up there. So that's what we're about to do now. All right, so we're gonna go over here. Oh, by the way, you can't jump with the block in your hand either. So don't try that. Because if you do that, you're gonna fall in the water and die. And that is no fun. So now we're going to push the button, raising our block, and then we're going to take this over here, just set it, I'll probably set it right here, in front of the recording portal, but far enough to where it's not right up on top of the platform. Because now we have to take our recording, grab the block, go across the stairs, set the block down on the button, while our physical form runs over and gets on the platform waiting to ride across. Sounds simple, right? So let's do it. So here we go. And again, make sure you give yourself plenty of time as a physical self to get to the platform. So we'll take it all the way up until the end of the recording just to be safe, even though we should easily make it over here. And there we go. Now we're riding across the platform to our next area. Now we are about to, I believe, hit the main area of the game. So that was the introduction part of the game. This next area is where we are going to be hanging out a while. This is where we're going to have three temples as you'll see as we come across here. See here we have three temples. We got one. It's a scarab. You know, up here where we can see it. There's a scarab, a crocodile, and I fell in the water, as I was telling you earlier, you can't do that. <laughs> there's a crocodile and there's a snake. That's the three temples we have to successfully complete to defeat this game. So there we are. So to the right here, you're going to see this beautiful pyramid. And of course, that's the recording we've been chasing down of the missing archaeologist. So here, it's just going to tell us a little more story of what's going on in the game. Wow. After all those years, I finally found it. It's the funny. Great Gate of Egypt. 
He has found the great gate of Egypt. Great gate of Egypt. So, if I interpret the symbols correctly, opening the gate now, opening the gate is all about solving puzzles. And as he just said, there's missing seals. You can see underneath each symbol right here, there is a triangular shape. And those are the seals he's talking about. This whole place looks like a huge mechanism, probably driven by those buttons. Only one seems to work. <laughs> Only one seems to work. So after that amazing voice acting scenario there, we know that these are the seals. We have to bring the seal in here. Boom. Boom and boom to open this great gate of Egypt. So now we're to start the game. This is when it really starts getting into the meat and potatoes of everything. We have to defeat these three temples. And of course we have to solve many puzzles to get through them. And this is where the game will begin. This is where we really start having to think about these puzzles. No more introductory puzzles. No more simple solutions. This is fixing to start getting really tough. So, I hope that this video has helped you along to get started for this game or gave you a good introduction to this game to help you consider purchasing the game. And you can see here's the map. Next time that we record, we're going to start the Scarab Temple. We're going to go through it. And I'm going to show you how to solve all the puzzles here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. And hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you have anything to say at all about the game or if it's something you have played and you want to share how much you like it, hate it, whatever it is, please let us know down in the comments below. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Stay cool. Have a great one. Peace. I'm out of here.